There was a big paradigm shift that took place in the early church with the involvement of Antioch in missions. Uh, the sending church was the church in Jerusalem. And then we come to Acts chapter 11, where the Antioch church is beginning to become a big force. And the church in Jerusalem uh, didn't have finances. But the daughter church had finances. And so Jerusalem sent the gospel to the daughter church, which sent finances to the mother church. And money was freed from being the, the driver of missions. But an era of part a partnership was forged. And in today's world, that is all the more important. Uh, that each culture has something to give to the other. And our people have developed a strong pride of their cultures partly because we were ruled by people who considered our cultures inferior. So we went through a period of, of re-evaluating uh, re the importance of our cultures. And now, of course, people are opening themselves to other cultures. So we are living in an age of, of globalization where, in the good sense, uh, the West learns from the East and the East learns from the West. We learn from each other. And I think that is very important in today's world where we can learn uh, from the West and the West also can come as learners so that we, they can learn from us. Uh, for example, I think um, our people are quite weak in some areas like telling the truth. Uh, but the very people who tell lies are giants in the life of prayer. Now this seems to be rather <laughs> incomprehensible, but our cultures are by nature spiritual. And so when Buddhists, Hindus, Muslims come to Christ, they take to the spiritual life prescribed in the scriptures, like a duck takes to water, and they become people of prayer. Uh, they are used to depending on the gods a lot before they come to Christ. And so the idea of depending on the God is very easy to them. And so they, are, they depend much more on prayer uh, than a typical Western person who, where the culture is very much on, of, on individual initiative and pushing and you can do it and all of that. Uh, so. So a person who lies may be a great prayer warrior. And so we teach them how to live a biblical life of integrity in the area of lying. Whereas they teach us how to live a life of dependence upon God and on prayer. This is just one example of the partnership where one contributes to the other and the other contributes to, to, the, to the sending nation.